It's now time for the happy. I am happy. You are happy. Let us be happy together. Whether the weather is cloudy or sunny, I will always be a funny honey bunny. I am lucky. You are lucky. Let us get lucky together. Whether the weather is cloudy or breezy, I'll be there to say, hey, come on, let's take it easy. Because isn't it nice to have the friends that you do? And isn't it nice that the sky is so blue? And isn't it nice to say I love you? Chugga, chugga, choo, choo, woo. I am smiling, you are smiling, let us smile together. Whether the weather is cloudy or stormy, I will still be there in the morning. I'll be right by your side in the morning. I'll make you breakfast in the morning. I hope that you like cereal. Yay! There's, uh, there is some good, um, there's some good news. There's a couple things. Um, I, I mean, it's, I usually like the good news to be wholly in and of itself good. You know what I mean? Like... Like the uh, the advance in solid state batteries we were talking about last week, which in and of itself will get rid of the need for lithium, even though the primer the early versions of them still use lithium as you know uh, in the um, in sort of the creation of them. They use a lot a a lot mm -hmm. less, um, but they also are moving towards an area where you wouldn't need any at all, and you would use uh, you know iron ore and make steel or aluminum based ones, which you can actually make in the United States with. Uh, you know, widely available metals that are available, you know, that we have here and stuff, by the way, that you could recycle. <laughs> what, a, what a novel concept. Can you imagine one day that all from all the scrap pulped military vehicles and leftover bombs and stuff that we don't use, that you could actually take that metal and turn it into electric car batteries? Can I mean, I, it would just, I mean, can you imagine the flip out Alex Jones will have driving his electric F 150 yeah. with a battery that didn't require uh, any? Uh, rare earth minerals to be extracted from a war zone or a blood diamond like arrangement to be made. Um, but there's a um, Trump is apparently in advance talks to sell his DC hotel because Ooh. it is uh, it's not doing well. Now we already did a, I did a story yesterday on my show about the fact that um, on the Daily Show, uh, Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide, which you can watch on infotainmentwars.com, like and subscribe on YouTube and uh, and on twitch.tv slash Hal Sparks. Uh, I'm getting so much better at that banter. I'm working it out. Uh, yes, yeah. the old post office, which is a great building and was made a gaudy mess by Trump taking it over. He's uh, Former President Trump is in advance talks to sell the rights to his Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C., um, one would think because he has no intention of returning to Washington, D.C. anytime soon, if it's not in cuffs. Um, why it matters, uh, the removal of Trump's big golden name from Pennsylvania Avenue would be a symbolic bombshell sabered by opponents. The historic building became a prop and a symbol for both sides in the political wars. The hotel was a central setting during his chaotic presidency, with Trump preening at his personal table. Supporters and supplicants thronging to the lobby bar and restaurants to curry favor. And, of course, foreign interests buying out entire floors and no one staying in them. That old trick. That old chestnut that Trump's a big fan of. Meanwhile, uh, related to this, I did a story about how a lot of the people um, in his own building, in Trump Tower in New York, are going bankrupt and behind on rent, including the company that sells Ivanka's shoes, um, apparently has $1.5 million, $1.6 million in unpaid rent at Trump Tower and are declaring bankruptcy so they never have to pay it. Um, and two other main companies uh, uh, that um, start were million-dollar companies um, in Trump Tower, but now apparently uh, this coat company that like that was very fancy, had a, like one of those places where you go and you buy a coat and you sit by a wood-burning fireplace while they give you brandy and models come out and show you the jacket and all that kind of stuff like crazy rich people stuff has $45 in its checking account and 1500 um uh damaged coats in inventory and that's it that's that's all they have left in their entire setup it's just well now it turns out that the same fate awaits uh Trump uh International Hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue um Trump would sell the leasing rights to a real estate developer who in turn would negotiate with hotel companies that would manage the property and rebrand it because the Trump name is for crap right now. And oh. yeah, um, by the way, watch for um, mid-level Trump hotels to start popping up all over America in red states that are like extended stay hotels. 
hit, hit, I mean, you're looking at an era where to salvage its name and its empire, the Trump uh, company starts, A, moving its headquarters to Florida, selling its big fancy properties, and buying up a bunch of unused holiday inns. That's, that's, wow. that is, if there is a future for the Trump org, and I don't want to give them any advice, that's it. That's what's going to happen. Um, and also, uh, the, the, the Trump, um, the, I, I do think that the, the move variant not jumping vaccines so far is, I think qualifies as, uh, you know, as, Good news. Vaccine maker Pfizer, by the way, told the Post in an email that it was studying the move variant and expected to share data soon with a peer-reviewed journal. Hey, there's a good idea. Who would have thought to do it? Yeah, don't actually. All right. Um, to date, this is that what they told the the Post, but they're going to uh, put their findings in a peer-reviewed journal. To date, we are encouraged by both the real-world data and laboratory studies of the vaccine and see no, no evidence that the virus or circulating variants of concern regularly escape, escape protection. Representatives from other coronavirus manufacturers, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca, have yet to reply to requests for comment. And that kind of tells you a little bit, like having been House of Pfizer and not having, I had no secondary effects after my second dose. I had a uh, sight soreness, but no other aspect. I can't tell anybody what to get or what's available. But... Um, uh, that is overall good news. They are also finding in England that mixing booster shots that people got Johnson and Johnson and then got a Pfizer booster or got Pfizer and got a Johnson and Johnson booster or got Moderna and got a, a Pfizer or a Johnson uh, Johnson booster actually helped with efficacy against the Delta variant as well. Um, and people who were immunosuppressed or compromised, that's a good sign that it doesn't have to be the same thing, that your body doesn't have to upregulate to the to one single dose. That is good news um, overall. Um, um, Paul, uh, Paul Cardenas, a professor of infectious disease and genomics at Universidad San Francisco de, Qu de Quito in Ecuador, has studied Mu and told the Post that the current evidence showed that it was likely more transmissible than the original coronavirus strain, as most are. That's how the variants actually get. Uh, Mu has been able to com uh, compete Gamma and Alpha in most of the parts of Ecuador and Colombia. Again, there's a lot of extra factors in that. However, there was no sign that people should be more worried, Cardenas added. People should know that these variants emerge all the time, and it is important that they are characterized in order to be tracked. That's the only reason they're giving them, them these names, why, right. they, why they're attaching these things to them. Do not think that every time a variant appears that this is a worse version of it. And the reason is, and this kind of ties in um, to, uh, and this, you know, I, I'm sure we'll make some folks, uh, whoops, I accidentally uh, typed into the wrong one. Sorry, guys. Because um, uh, I was <laughs> doing a search. Awesome. I wrote in anxiety COVID, and that's not what I meant to do. Sorry about that. Um, uh, because I was looking up a uh, the articles that we found about, um, let's see. Um that uh, there's a relation between whoops uh, between people with outcomes regarding um, uh, who are who have uh, anxiety and how COVID nineteen affects them. That outcomes for people who have anxiety or who have a history of anxiety um, as a comorbidity it is very high. Now, yeah. I will also say that a lot of people who are obese or overweight often will have anxiety. Now, why do they have anxiety? Exactly the reason I told you before. Compressed diaphragm, bad breathing, um, the inability to breathe into their belly because of the amount of excess fat that they're carrying, and, and the inability, and, and oftentimes, the amount of time they spend at work hunched over a desk, leaning over, crunching their body. Sit up straight. Breathe deep. Allow that oxygen into yourself, especially if you feel anxious. Will it cure all of it? Of course not. Will it help with it? Absolutely. Any doctor will tell you that deep breaths will, uh, will help with your anxiety no matter what. And I had anxiety attacks. I had panic attacks because of the work I was doing on Queer as Folk 
after season four, drastic, felt like a heart attack, horrible, fixed it mm. with yoga, fixed it with deep breaths. It's possible. And, but and it has to go hand in hand with whatever treatment you're getting from your doctor. We got it. We're at the end of the show. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in today. It's the Hal Sparks Radio Program, Mega Worldwide. We're here every Saturday for your listening enjoyment. Over the next week, do me a favor. Do everybody a favor. Sit up straight, breathe deep, smile, and take care of yourself while we tackle the Texas law. The, the the Joe Mansions of the world and the difficulties we face because we need all of you present, every mental faculty you have. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Om.